Hello, I'm Sheldon with Nostalgia Now, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Epson QX10. In front of us today, we have the Epson QX10. Starting price is $2,900 US dollars in 1983, which equivalents to $7,100 roughly in 2018. This means you could buy a used 2009 Honda Fit or three-fourths of a Bitcoin if you want to get fancy. Or you could buy this beautiful computer, personal, that comes with a monitor included. All right, now let's unbox this and see what's inside. Inside, you will find the power cable, certified cassette disc cartridge with no cassette inside. A floppy disk. Another empty disk cassette holder. An actual disk cassette. Another five and a quarter inch floppy disk. Another floppy disk. Floppy disk with illegal software. Did I mention three other floppy disks? Along with all your needed accessories, cables, and hookups for your cable TV internet connection setup system, along with the connections for the actual monitor and computer. The last thing located within the first box is the monitor itself, so let's get it out real quick and show you it. All right, to review what we have on our table, we have the power cable for the monitor, we have the connections for the computer to the monitor itself, and we also have the monitor located here. We also have a lot of five and a quarter inch floppy disks located here on the table, which includes software and operating systems for the system itself. That first box is only half the fun, so let's open up the second box, shall we? That's what's got the actual computer in it. Located within the second box, we have a slight mold, a piece of cardboard, the keyboard itself, and the computer, which we'll get out in a minute and show you the real power within this beast. All right, to review which is in box two, we have the personal computer itself and we have the keyboard that plugs into the computer. We also had that piece of cardboard that I talked about earlier and the slight mold that was all removed off camera. Now we get to the hard part, assembly. Setup was overall pretty easy. Connecting the cables might have been a pain, but we were able to get the computer set up in a relatively short time. Our time showed it took us only 2 hours and 46 minutes to set up the entire system. 
Our impressions on the looks of the computer are overall pretty good. We give this an 8 out of a 10. Coloring is great, with a nice beige and black contrast. The screen is monochrome, but it is a very crisp, moist display that makes us very proud to own it. Located on the front of the system, we have the power light indicator. The power switch is located on the rear of the system. We have the vent for circulation of air. The fan is also located on the back of the system. We have two five and a quarter inch floppy disk bays along with more vents and the Epson logo. Nothing else is located on the front of the system except for the plug for your keyboard. The keyboard is pretty basic. We also have the Epson logo located on the top. We have a stop switch and all of your other keys on top for file commands and other accessories. Located on the bottom, we have all of your normal key commands along with a giant space bar. Over here, we have your numpad and we have your up and down arrow keys located sorta of near the center. Up on the top here in the top right, we have your options between font sizes and styles. For our next shot, we're going to take a random millennial off the streets and see what his impersonation on the QX10 is. Alrighty, here's our random civilian that we just pulled off the streets. How much are you paying me to do this? Uh, no, you're supposed to tell us about what your opinions on the computer are, not what, how much we're paying you. Right, how much Bitcoin did you say I could buy with it? Alright, let's cut this. This pretty much wraps up our overview of the Epson QX10. Featuring a monochrome display, personal computer with a keyboard. Thank you. Tune in next time on Nostalgia Now.